Scientists may have just found a genetic switch that allows for tissue regeneration. We know that many amphibians and reptiles can regrow entire limbs. But humans, our ability to regenerate complex tissue has been almost completely lost to evolution in favor of scarring, a trade-off that increases immediate survivability by closing and sealing the wound. That is, except for in a few key areas. Surface level cuts to our skin, an ability to regrow up to 70% of our liver, or particularly in children under 11, regrowing of fingertips. Please don't try that at home. Damage to all of these parts, Mother Nature has stated is sufficiently important to kick into effect these superpowers. But some mammals can do even better. A few species of rabbit can regenerate complex tissues such as the ear pinna, the external part of the ear made of skin, cartilage, connective tissue, nerves, and blood vessels. This prompted researchers at the National Institute of Biological Sciences in Beijing to investigate whether this ability could be transferred to other mammals. To understand what was happening as rabbits heal, the team took tissue samples and found that the rabbit's wounds were quickly filled with high levels of retinoic acid, a molecule that controls the growth and development of new cells, and one that you might have already heard of as an acne treatment and anti-aging ingredient. In the rabbit's case, rather than getting retinoic acid from serums, they produced their own using an enzyme that switches on in the event of injury, called ALDH1A2, and directs the reconstruction of tissues like the ear pinna. Mice also have this enzyme, but only at very low levels, and it isn't sufficient to produce retinoic acid. But when scientists injected high levels of retinoic acid directly into mice's wounds, they found the same outcome. Cartilage, skin, even nerves began to regrow, and within 30 days there was complete restoration of the complex tissue. Not satisfied with just artificially introducing retinoic acid, the team wanted to see if mice could produce their own. By introducing a single rabbit DNA enhancer called AE1 into the mouse cells, they were able to switch on the gene that produces the ALDH1A2 enzyme. They then found that these engineered mice were then able to regenerate tissue entirely, although the healing was not quite as complete as in rabbits, so there are still some other factors that need fine-tuning. These findings don't just deepen our understanding of regeneration, they hint at a future where regenerative medicine could revolutionize healthcare, healing without scars, rebuilding limbs, or maybe entire organs. So it turns out that we might not have lost the ability to regenerate, we might just need to turn it back on in the source code. If you like science and the idea that healing might be less about invention and more about remembering, follow for more.